Wagwan Massive, I'm F Ziba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now, family, I am sure you see me all the time in this beautiful garden. It's not mine, it's my mom's garden. And so today I have her as a special guest. So she will be telling us about her plants and some of the benefits. Now she's not going to go too much into the benefits because she will be starting her very own YouTube channel. And so if you want to see more from Mama CJ, you can hop on over to her YouTube channel so that you can get a lot more information on Jamaican herbs and plants now let's get right into the tour i am going to start at my favorite spot you can tell that this is my favorite spot because i'm always here when i'm shooting my video so we're gonna start at my favorite spot mama cj walk us through this part of the garden i just love this part and i just want you to first and foremost tell us why you started this garden what inspired you to start this garden i'm a lover of nature i love flowers beautiful flowers because god made them for us to enjoy <laughs> right all right so this one this is this christmas plant here just just tell us about some of the plants the name of the plants um i know you won't get into how to care for them because you're going to be doing that on your channel okay. so you can just give us briefly the name of the names of the plants okay everybody i, I guess everybody knows this one poinsettia the, the special christmas plant this one and the, the name of this one is moses in basket this one here is a mini bromelad and guys the the bromelia right if you look in it uh when you water it or when it rains it actually has water in it so we have to be careful because sometimes the water actually breeds mosquitoes okay this is a violet very beautiful see beautiful violet and this is a family of the debacle this is um of the debacle family and that purple one over there what's that one called this one is um dirt orchid this one here is called inflammation weed you know i have everything in my garden you know so this is a, so what do you use that one to do this, what, what is that about this one is very good to clean this clean your tube for people with black tube it cleans your blood it 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 also good for inflammation okay so, and that's what uh, we uh, use in jamaica we right call, uh, we and we in jamaica call it dark blood okay all right this is what the dog blood or inflammation weed looks like when it's seeding and i'm going to show you why they call it dog blood when you squeeze it it has this red substance that looks like blood so that's why it's called dog blood so this is everybody's favorite mint what do you this, call this this mint? is called peppermint and what you use this to do this very this is a refreshing mint um you just make your your tea regular tea with it i mean most people love it because in the country this is the mint most people use oh. very refreshing okay so what's the name of this one it is euphoria right uh, i think this is the one that you call the christmas plant yes this this turns white during christmas Okay. You see, it started turning white already at the be at the end of no November. It started to turn white. This citrus that you have right here. Well, you know? this is a lime tree. Can you imagine yeah. a lime tree in pot? And it is going to stay right there and bare. You see the size of it? Healthy looking lime tree. And here I have a cucumber run right and right beside my lime. So is the cucumber bearing? Yes, here it is. Oh wow, wow, wow! I didn't see this. I did not see this, guys. Do you see this cucumber? Oh my God! I didn't see this, mommy. <laughs> yes, man. Mhm. Mm and I guess everybody knows knows um euphobia. They call it um crown of thorn. Crown of thorn. Yeah. Yes. 
they call that cone of corn and i see you have several species you have the yellow you have the red yes. and you have the peach tell us what you have right here i think i know this one but i'm going to allow you to tell the viewers what we have here well this one is called dandelion and what you use this for i guess many people know dandelion this is good for your kidney to clean your kidney and also prostate okay good for prostate this one here is called blue vervine wow this is a powerful herb this herb it is good to clean your blood it also is a good cold medicine good for cold bronchitis asthma any one of those type of cold you have yes i think i love these i don't know what you call this you know i don't remember the name oh, you don't remember one, the name but, but i love I this i call it butterfly sometimes yes it I looks like remember. a butterfly so <laughs> true this looks like a butterfly <laughs> and what is this one uh, this one here is a begonia family oh, okay comes from the begonia family, family. yes okay. yes this one is this one here is called chicken gizzard yes and this here is prayer plant a nice beautiful prayer plant so why they call this a prayer plant because there are times when it like fold it you know like you're praying the leaves goes up like this oh, okay yes oh, okay so we call it prayer plant so guys i just come to the garden for the beauty of it but my mother is the real guru when it comes on to the plants and what they are and their benefits and uses now i can tell it what this one is i know this one because i use it a lot this is called cayenne pepper so for those of you who have only seen the powder version this is what the actual cayenne pepper looks like and we also call it bird pepper and this is a small plant of um hibiscus not hibiscus oh, not my hibiscus? dear this is a coal bush what this is a coal bush you're good for any coal this is jack in the bush this is a jack in the bush okay. a small plot of jack in the bush but i'm um, accustomed to the jack in the bush having a smaller leaves no so. because this one is young okay yes okay. because this one is young white it, it looks so healthy and you know the leaves just and i guess nice. because it's also potted yes it is potted. Right. so tell us about these lovely oh, ones these over are, here these are my these. beauty these are my beauty these are called um caladium these are called caladium different colors in caladium many different types so these are what i have my collection um this is a white green and white one over here mm -hmm. this is a june plum into a pot can you imagine june plum in pot okay <laughs> this is cashew into a pot also all right so guys you see you can grow your fruit trees in pots and they can still look nice and flourishing and i see you have an orchid over there i know we've had some challenge with growing orchids for it's for a while now but i yes. see you get that one yes i got that Catch. one right. yes beautiful and uh, yes i have those lovely plants there this this is a run-up um onion plant I don't remember the name. This is also a violet here, and this African is a, violet. Yes, this is bromela. Look like a pine. Looks like pine. You have so many versions of of bromela. And I see you have some silver back here. Yes, this is right silver on back here, here as the well. Back here and silver back here, right yeah. here. Yes. These are so fat. Yes, these are very fat. I think what this is a melon plant. Wow, Look here okay so these and are um, um the joseph coat as well yes these are joseph coats oh, okay this is another version of um begonia here yes okay so you I, have I, several I begonia but this one catch my eyes what is this i don't know the name of this but it's a, it has a lovely bloom i think like a pink or peach something like that 
Okay. Some day I'll show you the bloom of it. Really beautiful. All right, I guess you can show this on your channel. Yes. So guys, I'll if you want you to see what this looks channel. like, she is definitely going to put a picture of this when it blooms on her channel. So please again ensure that you go over and subscribe to Mama CJ's channel. And come over here. These are my impatience. Did you know that the impatience could go into hanging pots? See yeah, how beautiful, beautiful they are. There. Yeah. Okay, this is a penny royal. This is a um very good herb also. It is called penny royal, but I just because I love plants so much, you just I, turn it I, into I just, a flower. That's a right. I put it into my pot. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Mommy, you're not easy. <laughs> Uh, right. This is also a, a, another version of, of um, begonia. begonia. Okay. Yeah, so you have several of those. Yeah. You have several of those. So what is this? This is this look like orange? This, what this, is this? This is this is this look like orange to me. The, the the prickle because of the prickle and you can get the smell. The smell can tell you what it is. So um, this is orange. Into a pot also. Show the pot. This here is one of my beauty. It is lovely, beautiful. And I see you have some hybrid rose over there. I, I'm sure you you give those special care because it's not everybody can um, grow roses. Yes. So <coughs> yes, guys, here is the hybrid rose. Yes, this is a running rose. This rose. Okay. Yes, it is a running rose and um be really beautiful sometimes you get like six on the bunch wow. and one bunch you get six and this is one of so my so you want to tell the viewers oh me just coming in your garden come read <laughs> come reap out your, pot, uh, your rose petals guys yeah, i just come I'm in this garden you. oh gosh i love it here it is like such a serene place a place yes, where you come yes. and once you step in it it's like your spirit yes, just lifts. Yes, man. You just get that peace. Yeah. You know? That yeah. real peace of mind. Especially oh when you're watering the plants. Yes. Oh, uh, God. My yeah. favorite bird doesn't reach yet. Okay. And I guess my you're talking the hummingbird. The hummingbird, yeah. yes. Yeah, guys. That hummingbird, Whenever. he's also a feature in this garden. <laughs> and I'm sure you've seen him, seen him in one of my videos. Yes. As a special guest. This is one of my hibiscus. I, I, I can show you this is a yellow hibiscus. It it is not in bloom right now. But mommy, I want to know because I see a lot of persons using the hibiscus in their hair. I want to know if the yellow one can be used. I, in I don't think so. I think I, I, I it's think the red it's one. the red one. The red okay. one it is uh, the red one is also good for your blood pressure. That's the the oh. common one, the common one, okay. not that hybrid one. But the I notice a lot one. of persons use it in their hair. So here, yes. guys, the red one, we use it for blood pressure. Yes. Yeah, but these are beautiful. ornamental. So again, she will show these to you once she starts her YouTube channel. I will put the link to her channel in the description. Okay. This one here is called um, Pentas. Oh, so pentas. this is... You have different colors in Pentas. This is called Pentas. Yes, that's oh, okay. the white. All right. I see the, the, that's the oh the, the pink color. under yeah, there. The pink there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, Mama CJ, you that take is, care of your that, garden. Yeah, this is one also of my Joseph coat. And what? This is a palm or a coconut? That's a palm, man. Oh, that's palm. One of those um palm regular trees. palm trees. That's oh, okay. a small palm tree. I'm just catching those. all right so you have some pepper over here some scotch bunny pepper scotch bunny pepper is like jamaica's favorite pepper yes when you put this in your jerk chicken oh my god <laughs> yes, yes. yes so some scotch bunny pepper mm -hmm. and baby pomegranate coming up here so and see i have a little sour oh yes yeah, sour sap yeah sour guys sap, mommy but know? tell tell them what sour yeah. sap is good for sour sap is so it's such a powerful food the the bark of the sour sap is good. It, yeah, it, I hear they use uh, it for and cancer. And good for cancer. Yeah, the leaves um um calm your nerves. You yeah. use it. And guys, and I believe persons are actually you can actually get um 
sour sap leaves on Amazon because it is so yes, it is so good. It's good for high blood pressure. Yeah. It's good for a lot of things. And the fruit things. itself, the fruit itself, it itself is, um, powerful. is powerful it's, as yeah, well. It's really powerful. Yeah. You know, men use the green sour they fit sour sap in their guineas. In their strong drink, I don't know what it does, but they love to use that one. Okay. The fit one. Well, they know Jamaican men already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are here now. This is my and desert rose. Yeah, I love this. I love this, guys. The desert rose. So do you need to give this any special care? No, no special care. It doesn't need a lot of water. Okay. Can do All right, so I see long. you have okra, yes, and I see you have some lemongrass. I so, one of my okra this morning to put into my turn cornmeal. Okay, oh my god, well, mommy, you have forgot to show them how you make your turn cornmeal. Oh. I mean, I think nobody can make <laughs> turn cornmeal like my <laughs> mother, your okra, yes, with and your okra kalaloo. and callaloo, oh, yes, so kalaloo a full meal, there. full one pot <laughs> meal. So, yes. there's the callaloo. So, guys, she has been getting everything, almost everything. To put in our pot from our garden so yes. there's the color and she have our okra here's another pepper, pepper and yes. she have a little pumpkin over there mm -hmm. it's not doing so well squash that's oh it's squash oh that squash yes. squash pumpkin yes. okay and i see you have a little basil right yes. here so yes i almost lose my basil but i just break off the limb the other day and set it there and it catching quite quite nicely so that's the other thing again guys if you notice she plants in, in a different in all kinds of stuff she planting mm -hmm. this is a wash pan yes. and she planting the wash pan she planting the tire this is a baby feeding pan see <laughs> there baby feeding pan so she's gonna and share a bottle that i cut there to put the paper in. water bottle mm -hmm. so she's gonna share all of her tips and tricks on her channel or oh, she care for her plants yes. and so and on my basil look at my basil here here. this is a basil mint yes yeah. man lovely mint this so, this mint is a powerful mint too a lot of us a lot of people doesn't know the the health benefit of this mint it it is good for it is a it help to prevent cancer i understand you know when you drink these things um these things are prevention right you and know? as them say prevention and better, better than, than cure, cure right? right you don't wait until you are sick to drink these things you take these things in your body before to prevent diseases to prevent um certain diseases especially the the, the wicked cancer okay <laughs> but also tell them about the jamaican folklore that is attached to this mint when i remember when i was in the country yes mommy them say when you put when you know spirit passing there you smell it when the spirit and by spirit she mean doppy <laughs> <laughs> so guys if you want to know if dopey in your, in your yard you plant Pants one of these yes, plants and you will know <laughs> but even if the cat bugs get sit them by <laughs> <laughs> so this is a root of cassava guys it's not looking so hot and uh, mommy come and talk no, about your compost okay. you don't have to say too much just you this, know this is my compost this, this is where i put all my, my kitchen stuff like the waste from my kitchen like my banana skin the yam skin the all those things but you don't put um cook food in it you all just right put, so don't give them everything no i'm Mommy, not going to tell you everything about my channel right let them come over to your channel to get all of that information okay oh this is all lovely yes this is the all lovely the zinnia yes yes and and we have gungo pizza Christmas. Yes, this is my Christmas gungo. Yeah. So you see how many things you can do in a little space, my friends. How many things? Look how much things you can do in your in a little space. Yeah. You don't have to have a big space, and you don't have to say, "Oh boy, the the, the soil is not good enough." You just get your tire, your old tire, your oh, whole yeah. pot. The bird, the bird, the bird, the bird. Catch the bird. Catch the bird. Catch him, we catch him. Corn has so much more benefit than just eating corn. Tell them about the corn silk. The corn silk, what the corn silk, silk does, it good for you, it's good to clean your kidney. And if you have a child that wet, you know, wet bed, you can you can give it to them like frequent urine, urination. 
you can give them the silk of the corn. Just boil a little piece of it, put it to dry, and you boil it and give them as tea. And I know that this is also good for yeast infection. Okay. Yes, over here, my baby pomegranate. Pomegranate, what you call it? Yeah. yeah. We call it pomegranate. 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 We call it all kind of you know, It's not. That's not the right name neither. Okay. And these are my my um, chrysanthemum. This is a purple chrysanthemum. Just started to bloom. And, and that's the white, the white one over one. there. But I see you also have some peanut here. Yes, so. I have peanut. I plant everything in my garden, my dear. Right. Look at this, guys. I think, mommy, I think you need to cover oh, this though because in. the peanuts, I didn't know it was they're coming. Bearing. I need to cover, put some water on top This is my gerber prawn plants. Just started to bloom. Yeah, lovely. Beautiful. These are my potatoes. Um, the, to prevent it from spreading all over my garden, I controlled it. So guys, um, I had to stop recording because somebody in the community started playing music, so I had to stop. So these are just a few more of the plants. I've been trying to do this video for some time now, so these are just a few more of the plants that I pre-recorded. And so I'm just showing these to kind of give you a feel of the other kinds of herbs that we have in this garden i may do another video i don't want to commit to it but maybe when i get to a thousand subscribers i will do that video so if you want to see more and learn more about jamaican herbs then please help me get to a thousand subs so we have come to the end of the tour thank you for staying tuned and i hope you did learn a thing or two about herbs and their benefits and I also hope that you enjoyed the beautiful flowers that I showed you in this garden. Thank you for watching. Please remember, if you have not already subscribed, go ahead, subscribe to my channel. And if you liked this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. And also remember to share with your friends. Thank you. See you in the next video.